After a chance encounter at a local bar, Kathy is inextricably drawn to Benny, a member of the motorcycle club named The Vandals, led by animatic Johnny. Much like the deep country around it, the club begins to evolve, transforming from a gathering place for local outsiders into a dangerous underworld of violence. Based on a book by photojournalist Danny Lyon, The Bike Riders explores the life of a Midwestern motorcycle club. It shows how the club started as a brotherhood of riders in love with riding and its evolution, its adaptation that has been turned into a work of art by director Jeff Nichols. I'm very happy to have gone and seen this in a packed theater, many of whom were bikers themselves. I'm floored by the performance of Tom Hardy in this movie. I love all of his work, but this has to be one of my favorites. He gives the film all of its depth and its meaning with his facial expressions and body language alone. Jodie Comer was amazing as Kathy. Her accent was spot on and she was so real, it felt like I was having a genuine conversation with her. I would be very surprised if Comer doesn't get any awards buzz for her performance. Oscar Butler again showcases his movie star quality. Benny didn't talk much, but Butler was able to convey so much emotion with just his body language and face alone. The subtle roles played by the rest of the biker club were fresh additions to the story, making the world feel lived in and authentic. Michael Shannon and Norman Reedus have small roles, but roles that showcase why they are at the top of their game and much respected. Through the loud mumbling, joining of their bikes, and the lonely melancholy of their quiet moments, the ensemble cast is able to juggle myriad themes with perfectly encapsulate this era, a time of American dreams, dying arts, and unrelenting change. Cinematography and the score were both great as well as if you could smell the cigarettes and engine smoke. A story that some may say doesn't do much, yet I believe it is extremely entertaining and meaningful shown through characters, the degradation of bikers, their clubs, as well as men's mental health and masculinity. The non-linear narrative structure really helps ground this epic history in a personal and accessible way, but more than anything, it just oozes sauce. Sexy, tragic, burning embers sparking and extinguishing themselves throughout. In a world of constant sequels, live actions, and remakes, getting films like The Bike Riders is a rare gift. This film is so raw and authentic, and I can tell it was crafted with careful intent. It's a special movie and another win for 2024. It feels as if I went back in time, especially when we're shown the actual pictures at the end credits. It's a great start to a summer flicks and one everyone should be able to see in theaters. She's gonna die one way or another. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need you. Some people would rather crash than slow down. Tune in every Friday for new movie videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what other movies you would like me to do videos on. Thank you, Mom, for editing the scripts for my movie essays. I appreciate you. Till next time, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.